Hadi al-Khawaja, he's in prison, saving life for his peaceful and legitimate human rights activities. He was taken on the 9th of April 2011. This appeared for two weeks. We didn't know anything about him. He was tortured and sexually assaulted and then sentenced to life in prison. Nothing happened to the perpetrators who tortured them. They walked free in the street. Nabi Rijab, my colleague, the founding director of the Gulf Center for Human Rights, and also the uh, president and one of the co-founders of the Bahrain Center for Human Rights, sentenced to two years in prison for talking to the media about, about uh, hu uh, human rights and about uh, uh, issues related to torture. Two years in prison. And then they didn't want him to get out. He's an international figure, international human rights figure like Abdul Hadi. Always those people are targeted in Bahrain. Just recently, he was sentenced to another, a further five years in prison for what? For the tweets in which he talked about torture in jail prison and for uh, calling them the, those who are uh, uh, killing people in Yemen, calling them to stop killing the innocent people in Yemen. All that in the tweets, five years in the prison. That is the failure of the uh, justice <coughs> system in, in, if we have any uh, thing that called justice system in, in Bahrain. Now I, I move to another defender who is uh, Naji Fethil. He was tortured while in prison serving 15 years and he was given another 15 years for uh, some protests by detainees who uh, were uh, badly uh, treated in jail prison as well. And also, we have other uh, defenders who were also uh, sentenced to uh, prisons uh, and also uh, were treated very badly in prison. Always the torture continues in, in Bahrain. The torture continues even if you are in prison. Now, uh, women human rights defenders are not spared torture and uh, abuse in prison. If this is Am Sayyid, if this Am Sayyid is a a woman human rights defenders who, who was called and told to s not to speak out, not to say anything about violations. Others, maybe they felt that it is very serious and they didn't say anything uh, on Twitter on, or Facebook. But Ibtisam, she uh, put it all in, in, in on Twitter and she uh, exposed them to the international community and what was the result? He was in prison, tortured and sexually assaulted and again and